Disciplined, share with the divine. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 10. For our earthly fathers disciplined us for a few years, doing the best they knew how. But God's discipline is always good for us, so that we might share in His holiness. Discipline is something that is dreaded. No one ever enjoyed discipline that includes even those in the army. It isn't a pleasant thing since it calls for your forceful giving up of pleasure. Human beings enjoy lazing around and cherish being served royally. Discipline has become part of our life. Our parents discipline since they know we represent them. Teachers discipline us so we reflect civility. Social norms and mores help us live in harmony in the society. Discipline results in desired disposition of a person. The author of Hebrews says parental discipline are done so as much as known to them, whereas godly discipline leads only to the good since God is the source of all goodness. Parental discipline is limited and the outcome is goodness for the disciplined individual. On the other hand, godly discipline allows us to share in the holiness of God. It is mutually beneficial since we are blessed and as a result our lifestyle honors God and God is portrayed in our living. Here is a pointer to note. If we are disciplined or not, John Newton said, when people are right with God, they are apt to be hard on themselves and easy on other people. But when they are not right with God, they are easy on themselves and hard on others. Can we examine ourselves against this ideal? Are we hard on others and easy on ourselves? Is it better that we be easy on others and hard on ourselves so we do not backslide but remain firm in God? until we die or his coming disciplined share with the divine god bless you